this here is our black sapote. I've got one tree here and just one across the way and um, it's already starting to have fruit. So look how amazing it is. I'm, I'm really quite excited because I've only had black sapote or also known as chocolate pudding um, sapote whatever. <laughs> um, I've only had it like last week for the first time. Now Ann ha had like tried some like a year ago last year and um, she bought some for me and uh, I was a little bit resistant because I, I'm not a, a fan of sweet uh, fruit as much or sweet food like chocolate but I tried these and it was just mm, heavenly so now that I know uh, what it tastes like I'm really excited because you can make so many you know nice dessert out of this type of fruit um, and they're very easy to grow very very easy to grow and it's not very expensive so we bought the trees about I think that high at Delsey from New South Wales um, and I think this has been in the ground for like two years and it's already starting to fruit. Um, I didn't do much maintenance other than give it regular amount of watering. Um, seaweed very sparingly, like I literally didn't look after it that much. Um, and yeah, I would say it's, it's like the custard apple tree, you know, you don't have to do much maintenance um, once it's established. Uh, even though like it was a baby and then we popped it in the ground like the initial seaweed watering and mulching that was it and it just does its own thing so maybe you can give it a shot as well and grow some black sapote There we go. Okay. A black sapote. I'll see you guys next time.